What's up, Coach Activist? Kenzie Retro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be discussing The Last of Us. The TV series premiered earlier this week. And now that we've all had a bit of time to process what happened, it's time to go into detail on what we like and what I liked about the episode. Any criticisms, if there were any. And I'll also be doing a spoiler-filled review of the episode, which you can find in the description below. You can find the link to it in the description uh, below. Uh, so that's uh, the link there. That's where all my spoiler-filled reviews are going to be from here on out. So yeah, double the workload for me, but hopefully get something out of it. Anyway. Let's not waste any more time. So, spoiler-free review. Here we go. The opening credits. Oh, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, much like the opening credits for the game itself. Capturing that sense of bleakness and hopelessness that is captured brilliantly throughout the game. Uh, and with the music from the... Um, with the music from the... Um, of the game being featured in those opening credits as well is absolutely phenomenal. Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey are absolutely fantastic as um, Joel and Ellie. Absolutely fantastic. And the one thing that really intrigued me was how they actually started. Um, one thing that intrigued me was how they started the episode, giving us a little bit of... Um, exposition on how fungal infections work and and then and then we've got um i mean just just the whole prologue uh it is so it is so well edited it is really well shot it is it's another one of those cases of being right on the edge of your seat uh especially especially for those um, more tense and action-packed moments and then and then the drama and the emotion kicks up to 11 right out the gate with that one particular moment that players of the game will be aware of um but for those that haven't played the game i'm not going to say anything until i go into my spoiler discussion uh video but overall this is overall this is a really well done uh pilot for this uh, TV series, HBO, so you know it's going to be top quality. Neil Druckmann, who was one of the um, um, one of the creators of the Last of Us game, Naughty Dog, and PlayStation Studios on board with this as well. Um, Craig Mazin, who helped uh, create Chernobyl, so you know based on all those factors, you know this is going to be top quality uh, television. And my word, they did not pull any punches. They didn't waste any time getting started with the drama and the emotion of the um, of the series. Um, and the, uh, a, a lot of the other side characters, a lot of the other side characters, uh, really well. I was like, th there have been a lot of interesting changes in terms of the uh, the character. Uh, there's been a few interesting changes as far as some of the characters. Um, Arkansas, and a few significant changes in uh, in terms of the uh, in terms of their uh, differences from uh, the game and how those differences impact the show. Uh, one of the big one of the biggest ones has to be, uh, without question, the um, uh, it has to be without question the fact that spores the spores are not uh, going to be. Um, it's very interesting the fact that the spores are not going to be present in the show at all, which begs the question: How are they going? Which begs the question: How are they going to go about showing how people are infected and how the infection starts, how the infection spreads, how they were going to go about that? Which I was very intrigued by. Um, but overall, I think as a whole. This is a really well done TV pilot. It's definitely a good start to one of the best video game adaptations 
uh, that I've seen in recent years. And this is only the pilot episode. We still have another eight weeks to go after this. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, the music uh, is really... Uh, the choices of... Um, uh, the choices of music, uh, be it, um, especially especially with this, uh, the choices of songs that you can faintly hear in the background, uh, and especially at the end of the episode, with uh, one particular uh, with uh, the song in question, um, it definitely um, a little bit of foreshadowing, if you will, as to what's to come for the um, for this series and the relationship between. Joel and Ellie. Again, those that have played the games will know how it will know how it all um, ends up. But overall, this is a great starting point in terms of uh, this is a great starting point in terms of um, in terms of establishing the world, establishing the characters, and um, getting like the, some of the major plot points from the game. Uh, established early on and yeah if you haven't had a chance to watch it yet definitely definitely do so uh, it's on hbo max uh, in the us and it's available here on demand uh, if you've got um if you've got sky uh, as well or or if you've got a uh, now tv subscription as well some of the size basically if you have a way of watching this tv series definitely do so because the next nine because the next uh, couple of months are going to be absolutely incredible television and i won't be at all surprised if this ends up picking up a few emmys along the way i mean chernobyl walked away with them um, what was it 10 emmys i think it was uh but either way i will not be at all surprised if we see uh, the Last of Us TV series uh, pick up uh, a number of um, a number of accolades um, uh, along the way. So, so I'm just trying to find it. Right here we go. Here we go. So it go two. Oops, it is. One, two, three. So three prime time M's there, and then. And then the creative arts Emmys. So we've got, we've got a further one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah. I was right. Yeah. S yeah. Seven creative arts Emmys and three further primetime Emmys. So Chernobyl walked away with 10 Emmys uh, when it came out. So I won't be at all surprised if we see. The Last of Us walk away with a few with a few more for HBO on top of that, and maybe a couple more for Craig Mazin on top of that. But that's it. If you haven't had a chance to watch this yet, definitely watch it. It is it is really well it is really well shot. It's really well edited. Uh, great casting choices as well throughout. And uh, yeah, uh, we've got um, yeah we've got another eight weeks uh, of this to go through. So uh, uh, I'll definitely be. Uh, Keeping up to date as we uh, go along. Uh, hopefully, from next week, I'll be able to have the um, spoiler-free review up on the Monday because uh, the the episode's first day here in the UK in two, at uh, two a.m. on Monday morning. So yeah, this is so yeah. Uh, spoiler the spoiler-free review up on the, the Monday, and then maybe have the spoiler discussion up on the Tuesday as well as uh, the latest episode of my Last of Us playthrough. Uh, but yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoyed, uh, say if you enjoyed the episode as well, let me know what you enjoyed in the uh, the comments uh, below. And if you want to keep up to date with um, my own um, uh, my escapades with The Last of Us, you can hit the subscribe button, click the bell, turn on notifications so that you don't miss when uh, anything Last of Us related goes live over the next uh, couple of months. So I'm going to get ready for the spoiler discussion now. Uh, again, you can find uh, the link to that in the description uh, below if you want to support me further. Um, if you want to support me further on um, on my uh, fan house page, uh, that's where that's where my spoiler that's where my spoiler discussions are going to be um, are going to be taking place. Um, and I'll and I'll have a few other um, a few ha I'll have a few other uh, things on there uh, on top of that. I'm going to start doing. Uh, behind, I'm going to start doing like editing, 
uh, I'm going to start doing editing uh, videos on uh, how my Kingdom of Isolation... I'm going to do videos on me editing the Kingdom of Isolation episodes uh, as well, so you can uh, so you can further support me there um, on that. Uh, and I'm also going to have like, reactions and reviews that aren't going to be available on YouTube. They're going to be on my fan house page. So if you guys want to support me further, um, on top of uh, being here on YouTube, you can uh, you can uh, subscribe to my fan house page. And don't worry, folks, it's all say it's all um, social media friendly. It's all social media friendly on them. Um, uh, on that front, uh, I've, I've got a couple of friends that uh, have fan house pages as well, uh, and they've been there uh, doing pretty well with those. Uh, but yeah, um, if you want to see my spoiler, if you want to see my spoiler discussion on this episode, uh, head over to my fan house page uh, there, and you can uh, request stuff for me to review or react to uh, later down the road. But um, uh, until the next episode, folks, um, I'll see you guys again very soon. But always remember to stay retroactive. Watch out for those clickers.